Today, we are working on one of the larger cylinders in the shop. What we have is the Columbia Industries Landfill Tipper. It is a multi-stage telescopic cylinder with a 63 degree tipping angle to help dump the waste with 65 ton lifting capacity and a maximum pressure of 2000 PSI. We begin with general inspection and deconstruction. Because this is a multi-stage cylinder, we begin by removing each of the end caps and locks. We then begin pulling out the seals from each of the stages and eventually pull each stage rod from its housing for further inspection of the chroming. If the stage does not need to be rechromed, polishing from a hand polisher or a polishing machine creates the desired surface smoothness. We also improve any imperfections on the threading to ensure easy reassembly. Everything within the cylinder must be as close to perfect as possible during the process, as any imperfections may cause malfunction or damage to the cylinder. Each cylinder has its own unique set of seals. We here at Cylinders keep almost every type of seal in stock in our shop to ensure the fastest turnaround time possible. Each cylinder needs to be well lubricated and installed in the correct order to ensure a flawless reconstruction. We had mentioned that this landfill tipper cylinder is multi-staged. That means it extends a great distance by utilizing multiple rods and tubes to ensure strength and durability. Here, the stages extend to almost 40 feet in length, hoisting its payload almost four stories in the air. Each cylinder takes approximately 10 to 12 man hours to deconstruct, inspect, repair, test, and repaint. Seals are installed individually with care as they must be perfect or they can flip while in use, causing issues. A major seal used in the landfill tipper is the V-Pack seal. Like its name, its original form is a V and creates a seal as pressure from both sides compress the material and allow the point of the V to seal off either side. Once the end caps have been reinstalled, final details are executed. Here we see the slide guard being reinstalled to the end of the tipper cylinder. This prevents the cylinder from sliding too far internally. Set screws are installed in each of the end caps to ensure a tight and unwavering fit. Any movement at all could jeopardize the cylinder's ability to retain oil pressure as there would be a leak. Finally, grease zerks are installed. Grease zerks grease the clevises to prevent any unexpected seizures. Once assembled, the cylinder is prepped for testing and paint. Thanks for tuning into our channel. We look forward to bringing you more content in hydraulic and pneumatic cylinder repairs. Signing off for Cylinders, Inc.